Okay, so FX Mars, this has been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, computer starts out with C4. So we're going to do E5. Mm, I don't know why anybody would do that move with a queen. Well, anyway. Yeah, look at me. I didn't take time to think about it. Uh, saw my little trick there. So we're going to go ahead and relieve it of its pawn. And you see, it's trying to figure out what to do with its rook, because it knows it's got trouble. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, to be honest with you. Uh, I have burgers fix, so I'll have time to think about this. I gotta get rid of that screen flicker too, so I'm putting this on hold. Okay, we'll do a few moves. Uh, I don't think either one of us really benefited much from that whole exchange. 
But I think I'm going to have to invite that uh, night to leave at some point. Unfortunately, um, I really can't get at it in this time. I don't have my forces over there where I need them. And it's night is controlling the critical D4 square where I want to put my knight. And can't. It has exposed its king, however, and that's not a good sign for it. So that's one thing that is going to hurt it in the future, I suspect. It's brave. Actually, may have made a halfway decent move there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut off that knight from its queen and see what it thinks about that. Okay, you can do that. This kind of harmed itself a little bit, but not much. I'll take my white bishop on that. It was rather painful. Because I needed that bishop, but... Well, well, I guess it wants my pawn really bad. So... We'll have to go ahead and protect it. I have tried to get rid of the screen flicker, but it hasn't happened. My pawn is under attack. Looks like this is going to be a pawn war, basically. We have one more burger to go here, so I think I'll think this one over for a minute. Put this on hold. Okay, my mind's really not on this game today. So, for now, I'll just drop the bishop back to protect that pawn. I tried getting rid of that screen flicker, and it's no deal. So the danger you face when you open up your king like that is your opponent getting uh, on that diagonal and you wind up being screwed really bad. But, and his base is all covered. 
There's not a whole lot I could do as far as giving it what for. But I am planning on another trick here shortly. Well, well. See, I expected to take them a pawn there on, uh, what was that, B7? Well, uh, it did something else, so. <clears throat> now we're going to spring a trap. It's not much of a trap, probably won't. Succeed, but it's worth a try. I have a choice of the pawn or the queen. I think we'll make it the queen. I'll cut it off from castling. And now it's in trouble. And if it doesn't see what I'm doing, it's going to be in big time trouble. Because we're going to bring this rook up and threaten its queen. And of course it responded. Somehow not surprisingly. Now I'll take that pawn. See, his king is very vulnerable at this point in time. So we'll go ahead. Well. Mine is just not on the game. How did that happen? Mm. Well, at least I my name mine's not on the game, so I've blown it. 
I wasn't paying attention. And I deserve to lose this game. Uh, there's an old song. What can you say at a time like this? Not a lot. I just wasn't not paying attention. There you go. 